You might think there's not too many living things at the poles, except for penguins and polar bears. But this is not true, obviously, because they have to eat stuff too. And no, polar bears don't eat penguins because the bears live on top in the Arctic and the birds live down here in the bottom in the Antarctic. Each of these two species, though, are actually part of complex relationships with other animals called food webs. When you think about it, a food web is basically how energy gets turned into life. Most of the time, that energy source is the sun, and plants are the organisms that use that energy to grow, hence the word photosynthesis, light making stuff. And then other organisms eat the plants and into the food web we go. And if there's one food web concept that you need to know when exploring any place, it's the keystone species. Keystone species are organisms that are the key to getting plant energy into the food web, otherwise known as getting eaten, and if removed, would impact the rest of the web and drastically change the ecosystem itself. In the Arctic, the food webs are more complicated, so there are a few keystone species. One of the most important is the Arctic ground squirrel, which plays a vital role in three ways. One, they are an important food source for other organisms like the Arctic fox and the snowy owl. Two, they eat plants, so they are important for bringing energy from plants into the food web. And three, they dig around in the soil, creating burrows, thereby churning up the soil and bringing nutrients to the surface. Now, in the Antarctic, the number of keystone species is a lot smaller. It's one, and it's krill, and it lives in the ocean, and there's a lot of krill. They're only about two inches long, but when krill gets together, they can form giant schools as large as a city. And much like the Arctic squirrel, krill is vital because one, they're an important food source for almost everything, whales, penguins, seals, squid, Two, krill are the only species in the Antarctic that feed on phytoplankton, microscopic algae, or plants. So, like the ground squirrel, they bring plant energy into the food web. And three, they're munching on phytoplankton year-round, which means animals are munching on them year-round. Without krill, the entire Antarctic food web would collapse. That's why it's a concern if humans start overfishing them. Knowing about the keystone species is essential to understanding how the food webs of an ecosystem are connected and how changes in environmental factors will affect the environment you'll be exploring.